Hello everyone and good morning from me and my babies. I just wanted to say a massive thank you. Like first thing that's out of my mouth, I wanna say thank you so much to everyone who made my birthday such a special day. I did film that day, but just a couple clips. I didn't wanna vlog throughout the day because I just wanted to relax with the babies. I didn't unpack anything. The only thing I unboxed that day is the surplus of gifts that's coming from you guys from my Target housewarming registry. I was so unbelievably spoiled. I am at a loss for words, honestly. At one point, my friend Mackenzie texted me and said, I wanted to buy you a birthday present off your housewarming registry, but there's nothing left on it I can buy. I know, I feel the same way. I don't know how to thank you guys other than just saying thank you over and over and over again because you guys have made kind of a stressful time like moving is stressful there's so many like costs that keep coming up that i'm actually going to talk about in a minute here but first i wanted to just let you guys know that i had the greatest birthday of all time you guys have made things so easy on me yeah i also want to say thank you to nick i don't think he's watching but i've already done my only fans video where i talked about how horrible he made my last birthday um i also have a vlog about it i think it's called like my worst birthday ever or something like that i don't know i'm crying in the thumbnail if that says anything about how horrible my birthday was last year but he made up for it this year and he sent us lunch he sent us dinner um i kept answering my door and doordash kept showing up with more food so thank you so much nick for letting me not cook on my birthday i felt so appreciated this year he's saying dad dad back there which is totally fitting now on to the not fun stuff i got my first energy bill this morning and for the first four days that i've been living here they're saying that my bill is 57 dollars. so i need to call on tuesday and find out what is up with that because i don't have a washer or dryer here i haven't used my dishwasher once we don't have internet set up so i don't have anything plugged into the walls i haven't used my ac once ex actually take that back i used it the first day we got here because it was very hot and we were moving furniture so we were all sweating so i've used my ac once since i've lived here and other than that i don't turn lights on unless it's night and i don't know where all of this energy usage is coming from that would charge me 57 dollars for four days other than there is a turn on fee that i had to pay that was like 30 dollars. but still i did the math and that's going to be like an over $200 energy bill if I keep this up. And by keep this up, I mean keep living Amish and I don't know why they're charging me so much. So because Memorial Day is on Monday, I'm going to have to call them on Tuesday. What else? Okay, my internet's still not set up. Um, from when I called them, I believe it's been a week now, they said it would take five to seven days for my modem to get here so then I could set it up myself and then call them to activate it. Still not here. I don't have any kind of tracking number. I'm going to have to call them on Tuesday as well because I am out of hotspot data on my phone so I can't keep walking to the park and trying to upload for you guys because it just won't let me it's like turtle speed on my phone and by the time it's even like six percent uploaded the kids are both screaming because we've been walking for like two hours and it's 80 degrees outside so you guys all understand that the daily videos have become less daily because i it's impossible for me to upload right now which absolutely sucks because i have been filming and on top of that the icing on the cake of like the past horribleness of the last couple days just it hasn't been a horrible last couple days. I'm exaggerating. My birthday was amazing. I'm still on cloud nine, but just these couple things that have given me a little bit of a setback. I accidentally wiped my entire computer clean. Now you guys are still gonna see the videos that I had had on my computer already edited and everything because I don't ever clear my memory cards on my camera unless I have to. So I just have to re-edit those videos and you guys have already seen them at this point. So all of those videos that I lost, you guys are getting back. However, I lost all of my precious newborn videos of five old that I had saved on my computer from like when we were at the Airbnb, from my hospital um, visit, like when I had him, I lost all of the baby newborn Fievel footage. So the only footage that I have of him is the stuff that's on YouTube that everyone can see, which was absolutely heartbreaking. So I just want to share that with you guys. I want to be as real as possible because uh -huh. I understand where you guys are coming from when you guys like praise me for being like real. I watch other YouTubers like do moving vlogs and stuff and they don't talk about any of the expenses that I'm trying to share with you guys. I don't understand like, do they just make so much money that they don't even realize that they're being charged so much to move in and set up their utilities and stuff like that. And then they go out and they buy all of their furniture in one day and have it all shipped and set up for them. And I just don't understand because I don't even know where my couch is. So yeah, that's been my last couple days. I'm sharing everything with you guys. And I just wanna say again, Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support. 
and just everything. And thank you for my birthday. I just can't say it enough. Fievel is literally back here going, <clears throat> clearing his voice because I'm not paying attention. Are you eating a cord? It's not plugged in. It's for the breast pump. Don't think I'm a bad mom, please. Sir, you are surrounded by toys. Surrounded by toys. And that's what you want to chew on? <laughs> if you hear heavy breathing, it's because I'm holding Fievel, but shout out to my friend Jackie who stopped by the day after my birthday and brought me my first plant for my plant shelf over here. She said it's called a marble pathos or pathos. I can't remember, but she said it's almost impossible for me to kill it. So I'm super happy about that. And that's him at his new home. I can't remember if I showed you guys, I think that I did, that I ended up getting my bed. Um, it's all set up here. I don't have a bed frame yet, but honestly, I really like that it's so low to the ground because the kids just climb in and out of it by themselves. Even Fievel, he is really good at climbing. And I just love that my bed is just full of babies all the time. Right, back on track for the day. Stella's having her second breakfast. This is actually her second plate of French toast. I had it all put away and everything, but then she kept asking for it. So I guess she's extra hungry this morning. I'm trying to remember if there's anything I haven't shown you in the apartment so far, as far as like setting it up goes. You guys have seen the table. I decided it's gonna go to this side of the couch, which I measured out should perfectly fit here with a little bit of space in this corner where I think I wanna put a standing lamp. Have no clue where I'm gonna put this mirror yet, but I love it and I want it to be like a good spot. If you have any ideas, let me know. You already saw this, you already saw this. In this corner over here, I think I wanna get a corner desk or a cart that I can put the printer on. So um, I could do all like my Etsy shipping orders over there. And then in these boxes, I just have a bunch of stuff that I don't know where it's gonna go yet. Like these are all my unpainted canvases and everything that might actually go on the cart that I was just talking about. And then we've got various like binders and stuff and then toys that I know that the kids don't like. This is a shower rack that came from Joanna. I still need to put it in the shower, obviously. And then I believe this stuff is from Lindy. She sent some heavy duty latex gloves, which is awesome because I've been hand washing diapers and I, know, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but I have blisters on my fingers from wringing out clothes. This is a bin for the kids' bath toys, which is awesome. I won't slip and fall and break my neck on a rubber duck. And then she also was kind enough to send a wine cork, which all mamas know I need this. It is, it is chicken, but it's hot, okay? That is chicken. Hello everyone, it is the next day. We are actually headed out to Walmart. It's gonna be a bit of a road trip because I accidentally sent our groceries to the wrong Walmart. I'm used to living in a smaller town, I guess. I thought there was only one Walmart per town that we're living in, but apparently there's many, many Walmarts. So we're gonna drive about 20 minutes, hopefully put gas in the car because I didn't plan for this long of a drive. Hopefully the kids fall asleep. It is about nap time. It's almost 9 a.m. and that's what we're doing this morning. Okay, so we just picked up the groceries from Walmart. Went fine. I'm actually really glad that I went to the Walmart that's farther away because I got to see more of the town because we haven't been out much. But now, we're at the park and I am uploading. I thought I would be really smart. I had like four, how many bars do you get? Four or five bars at Walmart, like maximum bars. So my hotspot was loading really fast from the Walmart parking lot. I had set it up to upload a video from my laptop. I, buck I buckled it into the passenger side seat and everything. Um, but I guess when I was driving, I lost service at some point. So it stopped at like 30%. So now we're at the park, just finishing up. Hopefully this is quick because I do have the groceries in the back and I just heard five will wake up. So yeah, hopefully this video goes up today. All right, holy heck, I'm out of breath. If you don't have a double stroller and one of these things, how do you even get your groceries to the car by yourself? So I loaded up the bottom, got all of our stuff down here, and right here, pushed the kids. And I had to park like a block away because I guess, because it's Memorial Day today, everyone's got family over. I can smell like all of the apartment complex barbecues are going. And there was no parking spots at my building. So I had to park way far over the parking lot, unload the kids, which in itself is kind of a workout, and then push the children with all the groceries. But I don't have to make more than one trip until I move my car later tonight. So let's put it away. 
All right, anyone who's not interested, I'll put a number on the screen where you can skip the grocery haul, but I'm just gonna go through this really quick. It's not much. I spent $39 and some of it's not food. And I also have food left over from my last grocery trip that we did on the 15th. So not all of this is like going towards the meals that we're making, if that makes sense. So I've got diapers for the kids, laundry soap, chicken nuggets for Stella. This is for her breakfast sausage bites. She really likes them. Ground beef, I'm gonna be making a lentil and ground beef um, meatloaf, I think today actually. Bananas, Fievel, Stella, and myself like those. I thought I'd get a watermelon um, because they're just wonderful. Strawberries for Fievel, strawberry, or Fievel, strawberry. Fievel, Stella, and myself. Sweet potatoes, all of us like sweet potatoes. Stella's um, Cheerios. I'm gonna make a, a chicken pesto pasta at some point this week. I'm gonna do a little experiment and try to make my own coffee creamer. I keep seeing recipes on Pinterest that say one 14 ounce can of condensed milk, two cups of regular milk, and then some flavoring of your choice. So that might be fun. And then this is for the meatloaf, it's barbecue sauce, and then another Thai curry sauce, a loaf of bread for our French toast sandwiches, etc. Milk for Stella. And then, because it's Memorial Day, they threw in this little sample bag. It's got like a can of soda, a treat, it's got some like little men's deodorant in here. I think that's really nice. Fievel doesn't think it's as nice. You don't think it's nice? I think it's pretty nice. I feel like Memorial Day weekend, or actually Memorial Day, is probably like the best time for a baby to try his first watermelon, so. This is Fievel exploring. Don't worry, I'm watching him very closely so he doesn't choke on watermelon, but we all know the texture of watermelon is just mushy water, so he hasn't tried it yet. But he's having fun exploring. Okay, so it's nap time and one o'clock and I am prepping dinner. Actually, that looks like the lentils are done right now. I'm prepping dinner tonight. I was gonna make a lentil meatloaf, so beef with also a cup of lentils. I remembered I have this mini muffin tin, so I'm actually gonna do meatloaf meatballs instead of in like a loaf pan because that's just gonna be more convenient for feeding Stella throughout the week anyway. Uh, so I have my beef in a pot because I used my biggest mixing bowl and my medium mixing bowl to hold watermelon. Incomplete kitchen problems. I'm using a cutting board as a um, lid because I'm also using the lids. So if this turns out well, I will gladly share a recipe, but at the point that I am currently at, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna do a barbecue meatball so it has a little added, fla added flavor, um, but otherwise it's just gonna be beef, eggs for binding, lentils. I might add some breadcrumbs, which I might have to make myself because I don't have any. Onion salt, and I will show it to you guys when it's all put together. Okay, so the one pound of ground beef and one cup of lentils was enough to make this many meatballs plus four. Some of you might be actually gagging at the idea of a lentil barbecue meatloaf meatball, but it's really my goal to just like find something that Stella will eat that's, e that's at least like a little bit healthy. And if you guys have been around for at least any time at all, you know that Stella is an incredibly picky eater. If it doesn't come in like a nugget or a meatball form, she's not interested. And if it looks like a vegetable, she won't even try it. So my way of trying to sneak fiber in is the lentils. She'll eat a meatball. She likes likes ground beef, barbecue sauce, adds a little bit of sweetness and flavor to the lentils, so hopefully she won't notice them. And I'll eat it as well, so it's just a really cheap, easy dinner that we can reheat throughout the week, and hopefully she likes it. I missed it, but she's got a big bite of meatball in her mouth right now, which means she tried it, and she didn't spit it out, so I think she likes it. She hates being filmed, guys. So obviously I try not to do it, but she's very cute, and it's hard to resist, and a lot of you ask me to film Stella, she just doesn't like it. She really, really, and clearly does not like it. I 
A different kind of meatball just woke up. I have never seen such a diva baby. You have a cell phone and a floppy sun hat. You're amazing. I've never seen anyone look so cool. You're not even wearing pants, but you're accessorizing. Alright everyone, Fievel and I are actually going to end today's video here because he just helped me edit and this video is already over 15 minutes long and honestly I got a little bored editing it because I told you guys I wiped my computer and that involves all of the music that I had saved, the copy free, copyright free music that I had saved from the audio library on YouTube. So my computer got rid of all my music and without internet I can't download anymore and so there's no music montages or fun stuff to edit in this vlog. So hopefully you guys weren't bored watching it but I did want to definitely still put it up because I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the birthday love that you guys sent. I appreciate it more than I can even express in video and I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting us and helping us and just being all together amazing. So I will see you guys in the next video. I am crossing my fingers that the internet modem comes tomorrow or else I don't know what we're going to keep doing. We're going to keep sitting in a parking lot and uploading videos for hours and hours and hours. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one whenever that is.